How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in this video I'm gonna be diving into one of my new favorite ways to source products to sell on Amazon. Uh, this is gonna be with two fairly cheap tools. We're gonna be using Keepa uh, which is a tool that you should probably have anyway if you're serious about selling on Amazon as well as a new tool that I've been using. It's called Seller Amp. It's got a ton of great information. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I use that tool especially for reverse sourcing. Uh, reverse sourcing is one of my favorite ways to sell products on Amazon essentially you're going to other Amazon seller storefronts it's reasonable to uh, in infer that those storefronts are selling products profitably so we can actually just go ahead and kind of uh, cheat our way into some really nice product leads by looking at what they're selling it comparing it to Google see if you can find it about half price or less is where it tends to uh, need to be to make a decent profit uh, but there's uh, some tools that I'm gonna be showing you how to use to really uh, make that process a lot faster make you some money for your business uh, let's go ahead and jump into the video So when you first start to reverse source some products to sell on Amazon, uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is to find a storefront that is likely to have products that you can also sell. You don't want to go after people who are creating their own products or have really, really big businesses because those businesses are probably going to be able to outprice you. They're buying it from wholesalers, stuff like that. They're just not going to be able to compete with. So we're going to have to find uh, a seller who's also selling stuff from retail stores because it's reasonable that they would also be selling a bunch of other stuff from retail stores that we could kind of um, reverse source from them. So one way that I like to do this is by searching great value. If you've seen a lot of my videos, I'm sure you're familiar with this part. I promise there's going to be some new content in this one. Uh, so right off the bat, here's just a random great value product. This is a Walmart product, so we know that all the sellers on this listing are buying it from Walmart, which means that probably a lot of their other products are also from Walmart. Uh, so this is the new extension I've been playing around with. I'm going to move myself over here. Uh, this is the new extension I've been playing around with. Uh, it's got a ton, a ton of information that you can actually look at here. Um, a bunch of cool features. I'm not going to be getting into all of them in this video, uh, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of what's possible. I really like that it has a sales estimator. Um, sales estimators, for some reason, are, are hard to get. Um, and then it's got a bunch of 90 day, all this information about the product, BSR, uh, the lowest price, um, how many times it's sold. Uh, so it's even got like an estimated time until you might sell that product. Um, so that's really cool. It's got a bunch of alerts that you could use. Um, I don't go by this very often. Uh, I go by some other tools like IP alert. Um, and then we've also got a keep a graph. We've got a profit calculator. So it's got a whole bunch of stuff. This is Google Sheets. Um, these are my VAs. Those are, they export these products when they find profitable products. Uh, it exports all the information directly to a spreadsheet. So if you have a VA, that could be super useful for them to not have to copy down a bunch of information. You just press a button, configure what information you want it to send, and it goes ahead and sends. Uh, but this is where we get into the, the real meat of how I'm using this tool to save a ton of time sourcing. Uh, so you can see on the offers tab here, we can see exactly how many people are on the listing, how many they have in stock, what the price is, what they're making even per unit, um, not considering their product costs, of course. Uh, but the the real uh, something cool also I wanted to show you is how it takes this cumulative total. Uh, so let's say you let's say you're this guy here, you're 1550, you're deciding whether or not you should cut your price. Um, whether or not that the price might come back up. Uh, so you would look at this and say, well, there's 12, there's eight more, and it actually keeps track of the cumulative total of how many would have to sell before your product starts selling. So in this case, if you're this guy who's 1550, uh, there's gonna have to be 41 units that sell and then they don't replenish for you to actually get some sales. So I thought that was really useful, especially it's useful for um, something like Q4 toy holds and stuff like that. Uh, you can see uh, maybe when it's time to cut your price uh, or whether it's, you know, you're good to wait for uh, those Christmas price spikes to actually go ahead and increase the price to where you're at. I just thought that was a really useful little feature there. But we, the way we can use this tool to reverse source way faster, uh, previously you would have to check out the new offers on here. So we're just going to click on this storefront. Um, and from here we can go to their storefront. Uh, and we're going to have to just eyeball it. We're going to have to use a Chrome extension here that tells us if Amazon sells it so we can skip it. Uh, and then you're just going to have to like copy and paste it into Google. But uh, something really nice with this tool is you can actually just go ahead and click one of these sellers and it'll take you over to seller amp. And this is going to pull up all the products they sell. Uh, so we've got their Keepa graphs. We've got who's on this listing. So in this case, we can see that Amazon's not on any of these listings. Um, it looks like, so here's what it looks like when Amazon is on the listing, it says Amazon right there. 
You can even plug in a max ROI into SellerAmp. So I've got it set at 25% right now. I should probably bump that up to 35%, but it's gonna tell you um, roughly what you need to buy it for to be profitable at the current price. Uh, it's important to read Keepa, of course, uh, but the really nice thing is over here, we also have Keepa graphs. Uh, so we can see maybe, like in this case, Amazon has been on it for a, a long time, for eight bucks, this orange line right here. Uh, that, that means Amazon is on it, but they're not currently on it. Uh, so we might look at this thinking we might maybe be able to find it, but really Amazon's almost always on this listing, so we'd know to avoid this. Um, this is something that you would typically have to click through to look at the Keepa graph or uh, mouse over it with some Chrome extensions. Um, so in this case, this one looks kind of interesting. Uh, it's just two packs of matches and it's selling for like 23 bucks. Pretty consistently, if you look at the Keepa graph, uh, the price has stayed between 20 and like $24. You can see there it's been about $22. So if we can find these uh, matches for like 13 bucks, we're making 25% ROI. Really, I'd like to see if we can find these for like 11 for both of them. So instead of having to copy and paste it, you can actually just go ahead and press the Google link and it's gonna go ahead and search the product for you. So in this case, looks like we found, um, looks like we found the same Stormproof match kit. Um, I'm assuming it's the same one. Uh, it looks like it's 547. Uh, I don't think you can get this one delivered to you, unfortunately, but it looks like this could be a potential RA flip um, if you're into retail arbitrage. Uh, you can buy these for 11, uh, and then you could actually go ahead and sell these over here. Um, these are FBM, so I bet this is a hazmat item. Maybe you don't want to uh, deal with merchant fulfilled shipping, uh, but you can see how this um, this Chrome extension is going to save you a bunch of time. We can actually just go ahead and see if we can find some some decently profitable items here. Uh, it looks like this one is selling for 11.33. We need to buy this for two bucks. I'm not sure why this listing is, has so many people on it because I doubt you're buying this for two bucks. We can just go ahead and see. Uh, I'm kind of curious. So it looks like people are getting this for uh, 4.28, uh, and then over on Amazon, it's really it might really be selling for. Um, let's see here. So it's selling for 12. Yeah, about 12 bucks FBA. Definitely not going to be profitable, uh, but. Uh, it's the name of the game with reverse sourcing. It's about getting us through as many products as you possibly can because uh, a lot of it's going to be junk. And in this case, it looks like this seller really is not making much profit at all. Uh, but we can kind of quickly glance through here. Instead of having to, uh, the previous method of reverse sourcing, you'd have to um, kind of eyeball each one, see, hmm, I wonder if I can get that for about half the price it's selling for. Um, I wonder if the Keepa graph looks good. But here you can actually see everything at a glance. Uh, you can see what you'd roughly need to buy it for. So you can kind of set your expectations appropriately. See if if you'd, um, you can kind of keep in mind whether or not I'd actually be able to sell it uh, for that price. Um, this one, we can go ahead and check this one out here. Um, this looks like we need a price of about five fifty. Um, I'm not seeing this one at all, to be honest, unless it's this right here, magnesium. Uh, looks like it's probably this, but it's five fifty or five, it's six dollars. Although if you are tax exempt, that's six bucks, and then you can get. Uh, 5% back with a Walmart credit card and another 1% back. So it's kind of close to a 25% ROI. Um, this one's this one's actually not um, a horrible product uh, because you can see that this price line has been very, very consistent. Uh, it looks like the sales rank is actually going up. Um, you can see here the, the pink line um, try not to get too advanced going too fast here, but the pink line is the buy box line here. So that's what the item was actually selling for. And something interesting, you can see how um, every time the buy box line goes away, um, you see that on the chart, the, the sales rank starts going up. So Amazon decides that this product is overpriced. We don't want to push this with a buy box. So that sales rank goes way, way up really fast. Um, back in the past, it looks like it was ranked fairly well. It was between like 30 to 50,000 on the sales rank chart here. And it was selling for like 13 bucks um, on the buy box, 12 bucks on the buy box. So it could have been something interesting to look at back then. But now that it's losing the buy box, I'm not super interested in that. Uh, we'll keep on chugging here. So we need we need a price of two dollars here. Definitely not going to get that. Um, and honestly, this seller is probably not really making any profit um, at this point. I would go ahead and find a different seller. Um, it's all about knowing when to when to switch sellers, when to keep pushing on these sellers, when you're reverse sourcing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out another seller here. This guy's doing FBM. We can see what they've got going on. Um, it looks like uh, the, these people are probably drop shipping. If I had to guess. Um, selling a Ryzen computer. They're selling a bunch of stuff that Amazon's on it, which kind of reeks of drop shipping. Uh, so we'll go ahead and head back here. 
let's keep clicking through here see if we can find something decent uh, but it's, it really is a numbers game um, you're just trying to find as much as possible looks like these people are selling uh, some fairly seasonal stuff uh, this one could be interesting I see over here it's buy boxing but the FBM price is like 12 bucks but it's three packs of them selling pretty fast looks like this is a grocery replan that dried up pretty quick um, this one could be interesting um, we're looking at a six count of hot chocolate it's buy boxing at like nine bucks uh, so we can see we can see uh, what it's gonna cost us on uh, a source website um, it looks like it might not even be in stock at all um, or it could be here uh, nope um, let's see see if we can even find it um, I don't think it's in stock it looks like it was kind of a limited time item uh, but we'll just keep on we'll keep on chugging here um, I, for the sake of time I'm going to uh, see if I can find one profitable product using this method um, it's all about finding like a really good storefront uh, so let me see how long it takes me to find a really good storefront and then I'll go ahead and get back to you with with a decent lead that I found with this tool me from the future wanted to interrupt real quick let you know that if you are interested in this tool think it's cool could be useful for your business um, I've been able to hook you guys up with a 14 day trial as well as 50% off your first month when you click the link below and use code launchpad let's get back to it alright so my recording's been going for three minutes I ended up going to two different stores kind of scrolling figuring out who's got a good store and who doesn't and I found this one this one looks pretty interesting to me uh, right off the bat, I saw that the product is selling pretty quickly. Uh, the Keepa chart is fairly consistent, stays between 35 and 40. Uh, there was a little bit back here where it was 30, but I'm not super concerned about that. want to go ahead and keep checking this one out. Um, 32 ounces of dog treats. I can probably probably find this for less than 20 bucks. That's what I'm shooting for. Uh, so I went ahead and pressed the Google button here and found it over here on Walmart for about 18 bucks. So not bad at all. Delivery is available. Uh, and then we're also going to go back over here and click the Amazon link. Uh, so we're looking at this. We're just going to make sure it's the exact same thing. Uh, it looks like it's selling for $37. Um, you can see here um, how the the prices have been lower. It looks like it's even at $33 right now. But the only thing you need to worry about is the buy box price line because that's what it's actually selling for. One quick note is always match the buy box price. Um, with your repricers don't chase the low FBA match the buy box you can get sales at the buy box price in this case if you were matching the low FBA you'd be selling it for 33 where the person with the buy box is selling it for 37 just fine so make sure you're always matching the buy box price in this case it's selling for $37 um, down to $35 recently uh, on the buy box but it looks like it, the buy box has been at least $35 for quite some time so I'm fairly comfortable um, calling this one 30, 30 let's call, we'll call it 37 just to see what our ideal case is is we're spending 18 on it since you can get sales tax exempt at Walmart so we're making eight bucks on $18 spend pretty good um, let's see if it goes down to 35 how are we feeling about that uh, not quite as good um, the ROI is a little lower than 35% which is where we like to be um, but uh, it's a very solid very predictable item could even go back up in price honestly because uh, back here it was as high as $40 maybe even looks like it went to $43 um, that would be really nice to hit this one at 43 let's see what we're making at 43 here um, we're making 13 bucks 30 percent margin that's an amazing product at 43 dollars um, but that's that's as simple as, as it is um, you're just going to figure out how many you need to buy you can base that off of um, this right here with the number of people who are in stock see how many competitive sellers there are um, in this case it looks like there's a little more than 10 so we go ahead and click through here um, unless let's see if we can okay um, so we're gonna go ahead and just check out how many competitive sellers there are looks like these people are delivering too late So they're not yet competitive even though they are FBA offers and they only have one in stock uh, So looks like we're looking at about one two three four um, Five it's kind of it, they're kind of all over the place. It looks like people are having trouble staying in stock uh, Because only a couple of these offers actually deliver on time um, most of these offers see this one delivers this one delivers Friday So this one has relatively prime shipping on it But a lot of these are FBA but not delivering for quite a while which is a great sign That means people are having trouble staying in stock even at $37 Which means that you could pretty reasonably be able to sell this product for 37 bucks um, And yeah, so that's a very solid product found it in about probably six to eight minutes of sourcing including the time on and off camera uh, So not too bad at all
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found any value out of this video that helped your business out, please help my business out and hit that subscribe button down below, make it kind of a trade. If you have any questions or comments about anything, feel free to drop those down below. I'm always happy to answer those, but I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.